This episode covers the crossing of the Bristol Channel from Padstow in Cornwall to Milford Haven in Wales. As the journey was mostly out in the sea, we expected it to be rather boring. But, as you will see, we had surprising company by dolphins that playfully swam around our boat and gave us good times. This is a video of my series Adventures with my trawler yacht White Horse at Grand Banks 36. We were lucky. The weather kept to be cloudy, but rather calm and the sea conditions were perfect for crossing the Bristol Channel. The distance to cover was about 130 kilometers or 11 hours of travel. I was not aware of this earlier, but I had to learn that the tides in this region are very strong and the differences between low and high water very high. In our case it was about 7 meters. Tenby Harbour is a dry harbour when the tides are low. You can see this clearly when going onto Google Maps. While I first considered to anchor outside of the harbour, we decided to replan and go for a wet harbour at Milford Haven. This is a large port has locks that hold the water back when the tides are low and there is always water under the keel. We left Padstow at about 10 to 8 in the morning. High water was about half seven and the gates of the harbour were still open. As we had not been able to loosen our automatic mooring hook on the buoy the day before, we tried to retrieve it now while the current of the river camel was still low. We were lucky and could soon recover it for future use. But we still had lost one important part of it when the boat took the day before went into the river.
Then we left this nice place and headed out the River Camel in direction of Milford Haven. The sea was calm and sailing easy. this video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel before watching the rest We had not traveled one hour when we spotted the first dolphins. They were approaching us and swam alongside our boat, often crossing the bow in front of us and playing with the waves. It was amazing to see these strong and fast animals enjoying to keep up with our speed, sometimes jumping out of the water 
and always keeping near the surface. After about 20 minutes, they disappear, leaving us alone to travel northwards on to Milford Haven. Two hours later, around 11 o'clock, we spotted again dolphins. Also these came alongside our boat and start playing and chasing our boat. It was certainly one of the big highlights of our whole journey from France to Norway.
the docks of Milford Haven are about 11 kilometers into the bay. This port is very large and an important import point for goods and oil to England. On the fairway to the port there are many cargo ships and tankers traveling in or out of the bay. As a small boat it is important to watch these large commercial ships. A passage plan for Milford Haven is very handy and can be downloaded on the internet. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Milford docks are entered through the large sea lock. The lock is operated 724 and it grants you access at all times. During certain times the lock stays open, while at others you have to operate it. You'll have to call channel 14 on VHF to find out when you can enter the lock. They will also appoint you a berth if you wish it.
We got a nice berth at the marina and moored around 7 o'clock in the evening. Soon we could stroll uptown and have affordable Indian meal at the Milford Carey House. The next day we crossed the sea again. This time it was the Irish Sea. We wanted to reach Wexford in the southeast of Ireland. This will be covered in the next episode of this series. If you enjoyed this series, please subscribe free of charge to my channel to support my work. And don't forget to press the like button. Any questions or remarks will be answered as soon as possible. Please take this opportunity to get in contact with me. Thank you very much and goodbye till our next voyage.